Jerry Caputo has been anxiously watching his house ever since flames from the oak fire have come dangerously close. He spotted charred bits of wood in his yard that were carried by winds fanning the flames. We went into preparation mode, waiting for the fire to see which direction the wind would blow, but we were all ready. Living in the area for more than three decades, Jerry has noticed a change in climate. With the extended heat waves and drought, a natural pond nearby has almost vanished. And his once lavish green landscape has dried out. He says a single spark could send his entire wooden house from the 1800s up in flames. You have to have a water tank. You have to have a hookup where firemen could hook up their hoses to. You have to have fire sprinklers in the house. You have to have certain vegetation that is indigenous to the area and not out of the area. And it has to be 25 feet from the house. An expensive investment required by the new California building codes. But Jerry has invested in even more. More hoses, more backup hoses, more hoses right there. Like many Californians, he wants to be able to defend his own property if it comes to that. Firemen have helped train me because I've asked them to do that. And they said, yeah, that's part of our job. We'll protect, serve, and we'll train you. They showed me how to wet this down so it has a chance of surviving. But what are you going to do? It's built. I'm not tearing it down. Fire hazards have become a harsh reality in this region. And for people like Jerry Caputo, preparing, investing, and training are his ways of coping. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Mariposa, California.